star, isn't she, with Dad? <laughs> okay, all right, we're going to start off the program with How Do You Do My Partner? Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. 
Marshall this year and he we know he, he's the owner of Erickson's and I don't think there's anybody in town that doesn't know who Sterling is. A familiar face will lead the way as a Grand Marshal for the Swedish Festival. Sterling is no stranger. I don't think I've missed a festival in all the years he's been here, he said. Sharon Noy, co-chair of the festival committee, said that Anderson was a natural choice to be parade Grand Marshal this year. And one reason was he's been here all of his life. He's been volunteering for a multitude of people in the community. This year's Super Swede is Jody Johnson. Jody's driving. This year's honorary Swede is Maggie Vandergriff Rasmussen. She was born to Bob and Hazel Vandergriff in Strasburg and graduated from Strasburg High School. She now lives in New York with her husband and today's, it's not today's chauffeur. Her son's driving, so the radicness of the driver is definitely her son. The Royal Palace of the Strasburg Midwest Covenant Home welcomes you to the 2022 Swedish Festival. For the past 75 years, the Midwest Kevin Home has been serving the greatest generations that have called Stromsburg home. From Meals on Wheels, the Polk County Senior Services, Park Villa Independent Living, the Plaza Assisted Living, to Long-Term Care Services. It's called the Q150 Committee. Celebrating 150 years, this float represents the historic buildings around the square with the renovated bandstand as the focal point of the city park. Oh my gosh, they did a lot of work on that thing. As the old standby pipes watches over the town, Strasburg legends Helen Buckley, Dr. George Lippett, and Charles Morrow ride alongside. These legends will be a part of the cemetery tour during the Founders Day celebration, which will be Labor Day weekend. is considered farming then and now. This plow was used by the Swedish immigrants Sven Rystum and his sons to break the natural sod on 80 acres southeast of town, now owned by Ryan and Deb Bergman. This plow is driven by Dalton Noble, a seventh generation descendant. The tractor falling belongs to Mike Rystum, a fifth generation descendant. Oliver Rystum, a generation Senate is riding its seventh with his grandpa. Oliver, can you give us a ride? Can you give us a wave, Oliver? So farming then and now. Our next float is 
from Cornerstone Bank. And they have been supporting the rural Nebraska community since 1888. We're proud of the part we played in and around the Strasburg community and look forward to supporting the rural lifestyle for many more years to come. With a full staff, Cornerstone Bank continues to be committed to the people of Strasburg and is poised to provide you with all of your banking needs. Conservative Republican Jim Pillen has spent his entire life in Nebraska agriculture. A father of four, grandfather of seven, and he's a pig farmer who's created over a thousand jobs here in Nebraska. Jim is ready for governor to fix our broken property tax system, grow our economy, support agriculture, and defend our conservative values. The next several entries are your first responders. The first one is the for EMS bond. We have 17 members who are there 24 7 to serve you. The next three vehicles are the Strasburg Volunteer Fire Department. They have 30 members providing fire protection 24-7. And again, all of these in Strasburg, we are all volunteers. One of the few times they can put on the lights and sirens and not be going to an emergency. So give them up applause because they're there for you, whatever you need. And they can just be themselves and have some fun. you know the county departments all work together they mutilate and help each other if there's a big fire we can support we can depend on our neighbors of helping us out at any time and first responder EMS services. So again, we're a big community. We support and help each other. Thanks, Amy, for bringing your crew up. Yeah, there are women who drive these trucks and they're farming too. The design retaining boulder and limestone walls, they paver and flagstone walkways, gas and wood fire pits, outdoor kitchens, vinyl sea walls, landscaping lighting, water features, and much more. Clay customizes each project to ensure Ford Mustang Convertible, a 40th anniversary special. It has 67 actual 67,000 actual miles. This year at the festival. These are all the Swedish dancers. They were taught under the direction of Tammy Wheeler. She is helped by Mary Mary Hansen, who will be taking over the dancers in the next in the next uh, next season. The dancers range in age from kindergarten to sixth grade for both the boys and the girls. The girls grade kindergarten to the fourth grade were taught the three dances: How Do You Do, My Partner, Carousel, and the Goose Stop. The older girls also learned a dance called the Shottish and also the Big Maple that they walked around the Maple. There's more coming. Just wait. You just gotta wait for 
Janet Hughes, the legislative candidate for District 24. John Luby, my mother, she will be there, the one on the day of the parade, okay. Janet Hughes is running for the district legislative seat of District 24. She will be a strong conservative voice for the district. She would Our next vehicle, Polk County News with Alan and Beth Sparrow. We welcome them aboard as a new business owner. Strasburg History and Newspapers goes back to 1873, barely beating out Osceola with the first newspaper. They were without for, for a few years until 1880. The headlight then started in 1885 and continued until the merger of the county newspapers on January 1st of 1994. I didn't think it had been that long ago. Good grief. We are proud to continue the legacy of locally owned newspapers published by your Polk County News. So send in the news and read it all the time. Send them pictures. They love to have the information. Get it in on time, though. Get it in on time. Wow. What a car you're driving. Catalina. Pontiac. Bergrens moving forward together. Bergrens moving forward in Swedish technology then and now. From juice cans, feather pins, and Zim phones, car phones, to flip phones, iPhones, Bluetooth, and iPads. We're moving forward with the times. We have Ryan and Deb Burgers families. Ryan and Deb's kids, hey, uh, wave your hand so that everybody knows who you are. Not everybody knows you. All righty. Margie and the late Todd Burger, their families, their kids and grands. Yeehaw. Greg and Jan Burger, Lee Burger Brosh, Bar Burger and Cherry Burger and Sunberg. Now there's a lot of generations up there. Okay, I've got to read something on the back, so you'll have to pull forward a little bit, but don't go really fast. Oh, look at the phones. Some of you kids have no idea what a dial phone is. Not even close. <laughs> we speed, no technology. Is in Osceola, it's featuring John Deere 3038E utility tractor. The John Deere E3 series tractors are powerful and easy to use for customers. Perfect for helping maintain their property, whether managing livestock or moving snow. Well, we didn't have a lot of that this year. Acres Equipment is your one stop shop for quality equipment. Gosh. We just got landed at another group of Swedes. This is the Collins Nelson family. Six generations honoring our ancestors' family. Charles Anderson, the homesteaded in 1871, and the Colin Nelson Berg families are with us. Group, six generations and still counting. Now that's one big doll horse. Holy moly. Scandinavian, Scandinavian Mutual Insurance Company, Polk County. In the 17th and early 18th century, men working in the forest in Sweden during long cold evenings began carving small wooden horses to bring home for their children to play with. These treasured objects grew in popularity, and visitors to regional towns wanted to buy them. The villagers started to paint them in bright colors and patterns, inspired by what was painted on furniture and walls in the region at that time. The doll horse soon became one of the official symbols of Sweden, whether displayed on a shelf or tucked away. generations of the Andersons, a typical good Swedish name. Jack Anderson is celebrating his how old family? 85th birthday. And the Andersons are also celebrating six generations of living in Stromsburg. That's a pretty big record. Starting with Victor Anderson. All four of Jack's children are present. Okay, Jack's kiddos, I'll wave your hand so everybody knows who you are. Come on, don't be shy. That much has never been shy. 
along with 13 out of his 15 grandchildren and four out of his nine great-grand. His family came from the states of Minnesota, Nebraska, Wisconsin, Texas, Florida, North Dakota, and Colorado. Our family, along with Stompersburg, celebrates the rich Swedish history, both then and then. 2005 Corvette Convertible. I do believe it belongs to Rick George. Just uh -huh. Nice try. This car has been to 13 proms and six graduations. Wow, that is pretty cool. I'm liking that. Oh, anybody, can you grab that paper right there? Oh, you guys are good. You bet. Okay, this is Patrick Hanovey. He is running for our legislature. He is from New York running for the Nebraska State Legislature to represent District 24. He would appreciate your vote on November the 8th. Grayson Leroy Gerard. You see who's driving, who's got, you see who's in charge of this place. 1967 International Pickup was purchased at noon by Grayson's grandparents, Sam and Irene Drenham, and Columbus, Nebraska, on July 28, 1967, for, okay guys, hang on to this one, $2,050. Her father had a stroke two months later, and the pickup was not driven for many years. Grayson Leroy purchased the pickup in 1976, and the current owner now is Margie Berger. Stromsburg Soft Water. Stromsburg Soft Water wishes to tell you, welcome and happy 150th birthday, Stromsburg. Dwayne Oquist is driving a 1978 MG Midget. He found this little toy car about four years ago. This shows what can happen when you waste too doggone much time on Craigslist. This is one of our new businesses in town, Dr. Connor Peterson, the chiropractor and the wellness guy. I hear he's been getting a lot of people after this festival workout. You're getting a lot of customers here. It's all, this is tractor is owned by Neil Sandela Polk. This is a 1953 John Deere 50, driven by the Dr. Connor, owner of Peterson, the chiropractic and wellness center, which finally opened his doors in February of this year. He's really excited to be able to provide good chiropractic care locally right here in Polk County. Tractor, but this is the this is the daughter of Kevin and Melody Sandell. This is Chloe. She is driving her grandfather's 1937 John Deere A. Way to go! You're hitting your brother this year. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I know you won. And here comes Reckless Noah. He's the son of Kevin and Melody Sandell. Both he's driving his grandfather's 1936 John Deere G. Good to see you, Noah. And not to leave the older generation out, Neil and Ruth Sandell. Neil is driving their 1929 Model A Ford Coupe. And riding with them is his wife, Ruth, and their granddaughters, Shania and Bert, and their friend, Max Bartles, both of Lincoln. Wow, that's a classy vehicle. This is the Kenny Hansen family. And their 50 year, holy moly, 50 year old motorcycle. This entry features four generations of the Hanson Swedes then and now. On the trailer with seven of 10 of Kenny's great grandchildren is the 1972 Yamaha 100 Enduro motorcycle. He won this motorcycle 50 years ago on a $1 ticket during the 1972 Swedish festival. Wow. It still runs and Kenny ensures it stays ready to go. He was riding his motorcycle until he was 90 years old. Joining Kenny are some of his children, grandchildren, and the great grandchildren. Who's driving? Uh, all right, Rick, yeah, all right. Thank you guys very much. That's pretty cool. Thank you to the Hansons. That thing looks like it's in pretty darn good shape yet. There's a 
plug sporting of the true, true blue yellow. All right. The Economy Food Store was established in the fall of 1939 by Wilmer Anderson. The star moved to his present... Oh, look at here. He knows how to bribe. Uh, in, the, in August of 1945, Mark Waddell, Wilmer's son-in-law, joined the family business in the fall of 1971, purchased a store in 1972. Mike then began working for Marv in September of 83 as the special meat cutter. He purchased a store for Marv in November of 2009. Look at the stuff that's on, look at the price of that food. Oh my goodness. The economy was Swedish then and is still Swedish now. And you can still buy potato bologna, pickled herring, and lutefisk, along with many other Swedish specialty food items. Thank you, Mike and Ronnie, for all you do for the community, because I don't think we can make it this weekend without you. Yeah, you guys give them a hand because I'm telling you what, they're there 24-7 if you need it. Blake Mappas is on his 1952 John Deere A. He restored in high school. Hey, that's a quite a job. Thanks for bringing and showing it off. He's on a 1949 John Deere D. We're getting there. The classics are coming through. And it's still running and it hasn't exploded because of the heat. He'll probably survive. Our next one is driven by Gavin Everly on his 1936 Farmall F12. Next one is Isaac Hulls on his 1957 Ford 671 Select Speed. That's about my size. I like that. Okay, this is one of our new businesses also. This is from the fiber mill. Like Claire, Claire and Kelsey's ancestor, Claire Charlotta, Charlotta, Charlotta Samuelson, who immigrated to the Strasburg area in 1882, the women at the fiber mill carry on the tradition of spinning wool into yarn. They moved on from the spinning wheels used then, however, to large, modern, efficient carters and spinning frames. The fiber mill processes wool and other fibers from all over the United States into yarn, roving and felt. Congratulations, we welcome you also into the community as a newer business. Thanks, Kelsey. Here is J&M Trucking, John Mark Seed and Fertilizer, owned by John and Sean Mark from Benedict, Nebraska. I'm supposed to be sharing, never mind, I can't read it. John has been in the trucking business for nearly 29 years and the seed business longer than that and fertilizer business for 10 years. Thanks for coming up and joining us. This is from Big Iron Auction, Big Iron Realty, John Stopic and John, Jim and John Stock, celebrating 40 years in the auction business. And Ron is driving his own vehicle. Thank you very much.
a song called Ida Red, and the chorus goes. C chord, please. Ida Red, Ida Red, love a girl named Ida Red. So that's your part. So sing along with us. Here we go. Ida Red, Ida Red, love a girl named Ida Red. So what I'm going to do, Debbie, how about you come over here? Yes, dear. And you play here, and that way you folks can come over in front of the harmonicas. In front of the uh, microphones. These are the harmonicas. They need to have the harmonicas in front of them. Okay, now I've got that straight. Uh, okay, I'll sing a verse, and everybody will sing the chorus, and then we're going to play through it twice. Here we go. Ida red, Ida green, prettiest gal I've ever seen. Ida red, Ida red, love a girl named Ida red. Here we go.
Thank you.